Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've got a fun little vlog for you today, but it's literally so long, so I'll literally just let, get right into it. Um, I thought I'd do a voiceover, which if you follow me on TikTok, I do like days in the life and I do like a voiceover and I just think I'm really funny and just crack really awkward jokes. So I thought it'd be fun to do this for this, but if you do not want to watch that and you just want to like enjoy the footage, um, rude, but you can just mute it and just stick some music on. Um, but there's lots of vegan food, there's lots of like things to do. Um, but I just think it's easier like this way because obviously when I'm walking around Amsterdam, I don't want to be like preparatory. It's like, hey guys, we're just going to like, no, like I'm just not gonna, I was about to say I'm Frank, but do you know what I mean? Like I just didn't want to be like that Taurus. So I think it's fun now if I do a little voiceover, reflect on my time and give you yes and no's what to do in Amsterdam. This is my second time going. I went in 2019 when I did interrailing and it was our first stop, so I didn't really know what to expect. So that was a bit of a like, um, different experience. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just get on to it. Hello, so we start at 20 past two. What a lovely time to be awake, but it'll all be worth it. Tom was not feeling the early morning. Um, so here's a little fit check for you and there's our chariot. Angus said he felt like he was on come down with me, which I thought was quite funny. Our driver was wearing Crocs. Um, okay, um, so we got to the airport, everything was shut, like you couldn't even go through yet, which why make you get there that early if, anyway. So there's us going through security. Meadow's shoes got stopped. I think all the boys' shoes got stopped. And then Tom got told these were kids, which we knew. I tried the oat brown sugar shake and something from Starbucks. It's actually really nice. And of course, I had to have a pint with my seaweed, obviously. And it was time to board. So exciting. We went with EasyJet. We all get onto this later. I am not happy with EasyJet. It was such a short flight from John Lennon. I think it was less than an hour. It was literally like 50 minutes. Um, and we arrived in Schif Schiffel? Schiffel? I don't know how you say it, actually. We only had hand luggage, too, so we didn't have to wait. And we get stamps now. The only good thing to come from Brexit stamps we left our bags in like lockers in town center while we went about about our day before we could check into the hotel and i really recommend doing that and we got lovely little lunch in this tiny little cafe which she said it was closing down which is really sad rachel squaring up to a mouse and then i got some hazelnut vegan gelato it was unreal also how fancy is this h&m and then of course the heavens decided to open just before we were waiting to go into anne frank um, but we went to Anne Frank and then we had another little wonder and then it was time we could go to our hotel room um, in Schlotterdijk, um, which I think is such a funny name. And there's our room. I love a bunk bed. I was on top because on top is superior. And there's the boys. And then we went out for our first night. We went for an Italian, nice glass of wine. Cheers all around. Cheers, cheers, cheers. And then after our meal, we went to Lost in Amsterdam for some very expensive cocktails, but it was so comfy in here, like it was such a cool vibe. We just sat in these little like booth sofa things. And then we went to go get on our train and the driver just left, which don't know how that's allowed, but again. Okay. Nice and early start the next day. There's me looking a bit better. Fit check. The Starbucks here does bits. Their coffee was actually so nice. I'm only not a Starbucks gal, but the coffee was so nice and they had loads of like muffins and stuff. So we ended up on like one of the most expensive streets in all of Amsterdam. I think there was literally every designer brand you can think of was on the street. And then we went to Stash, Stash, which they have all over the city. And I had the best sandwich ever. It's like sun-dried tomato, like uh, jackfruit, avocado. It was unreal. And then matcha latte, which was so good. And also, even though they're like supermarkets here, they're Albert, what's it? It's me with my friends. Um, Albert, hi, hi, I don't know. They were just infinitely better than any shop or corner shop in England. Here at Vondel Park, um, Meadow was off to go play with some kids in a log. Can anyone tell me what this animal is? It's not a duck, like, what is it? Um, kicked Meadow for getting stuck in the log. And then we went to Moco, which is like modern art, and they had these really cool umbrella locks, like, it was so cool. Some of the art in here was funky, and they had a whole, that's Rachel, like, yeah, I know that one. Um, they had a whole exhibition about NFTs, which was very odd, which, I feel like NFTs and like crypto is kind of just like fallen off, like everyone was obsessed with it, and now it's just kind of gone. I don't know, there's Emily enjoying something about The Simpsons or something. Um, yeah, like, how is this modern? I don't know. Each their own. Art is subjective. 
had a really nice view of the um, palace thing, museum thing, I can't remember what it's called. This was so creepy, it looked too real, I didn't like it, it was scaring me. But downstairs they had a really cool exhibition, it was all like funky and lights and cool photo opportunities which I obviously took advantage of. I mean, you can't see on the video that well, but we were like getting, it was like a funhouse mirror type. I did get this top, I must say, because it just looked so good on me. How could I not? We just went around a few more shops and then me and Zarin went to Vegan Junk Food Bar. If you're vegan, you probably heard of this place. Um, I have more details about it on my Instagram. But I had a pink burger and potato smiley faces. What more could a girl want? And I also had a little chocolate dessert because I have such a sweet tooth. Look what these shots came in. We went to like the pipe before we went to the ice bar and we got shots and they came in test tubes. The ice bar was quite the experience. Um, the cocktails were really good. Um, I had a mojito, obviously. What else do I have? Cheers! And that is us in the freezing cold. The lighting in here it was doing bits, honestly. It was so nice. But we had to get beer, which I'm not a huge beer fan, but you know, I'll take it. Cheers, 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 cheers for you. Cheers! And then the boys just thought it'd be really funny to smash the ice glasses apart obviously because what what else do boys do and this picture it's so funny when you fold the thing over it completely hides the boys it's so funny and then because we're just such typical brits we went to an irish pub um, and i got a gin and tonic but look at these skills are you ready are you ready there's three coasters there Wapam! absolutely incredible and then the boys played some chess and i had some fries absolutely covered in vegan mayo to end my night the next day, I have my Urara bandana on. Love these. Fit check. Obviously, here are all my friends. If you've watched my other videos, you should know who they are by now if you're a true fan. Um, but yeah, so we went back into the centre um, to get a bagel at this place that was like music themed. It was so cool. Um, honestly, one of the nicest bagels I've ever had. It was unreal. And it was such nice weather this day. Uh, Rachel's pointing, they do vegan fudge. Yum. I didn't get any though, sorry cool bench angry birds i love angry birds if you know me i'm a bit of an angry birds addict and they have so many vintage stores in amsterdam like proper like vintage retro style um so of course we had a few looks around there and then we watched this pigeon try graft um he didn't succeed he's all puffed up he wants a bit of her but she wasn't having it pigeons feet in amsterdam too are so much cleaner than the ones in liverpool and they went to the sex museum i'm not going to show much because i don't want to get like i don't know is it like inappropriate to have willies on YouTube, I'm not sure. And then got a slushy because I love wasting my money, obviously. But you can't go wrong with a slushy. And then the girls got some street waffles. They looked so good. I wish they did vegan ones. I just got some chocolate and a little salad, and we just sat and ate those. Um, I'm very jealous of their street waffle and also Meadows food looks really good but this salad was so good but I had to eat it with two knives like chopsticks because they didn't have any forks um, this hands off my chocolate one of my new favourite chocolates like can they sell it in England please and they went to Amsterdam Illusions we paid good money to piss about in here we think we got confused with something else but it was really funny like it was funny The pictures it produced are funny and we had a funny time um, but I wouldn't pay as much as we paid for it um, but if you've got some extra quid maybe go um, but yeah that's me acting my heart out and getting pulled down by the rabbit and they were giving me such bad instructions right they were trying to make me look like I'm falling but honestly the instructions weren't doing bits I blame my directors and I had one of these rooms I've always wanted to go in these um, you know when you're like big and small and then this was such a long underground like oh by the way we got a travel pass so we got a three day one and then a two day one definitely worth the money because we used it so much getting in and out of the city centre and um, there's M off to buy some she loves half pints so she got even smaller than the half pints from the Heineken gift shop um, but yeah I was saying defo worth getting it because the pass gets you on the trains the metros the trams everything like it is really helpful um, to get around because it's a lot of walking because the city is just so big and all the streets look the same. And it's one thing I didn't expect the first time I went, every street looks the same. Um, so you probably will get lost. So definitely I'd say invest in the travel passes. And then we were back in like the pipe area, I do believe. We got some stone baked pizza to take to the park. Uh, the Krusty Krab pizza. I think that's what Rachel was singing. 
uh, lovely pink limo. This park was so, so pretty and we found out it's actually called Dog Square and there was so many dogs. I've never been happier eating my pizza. Um, I just had a marinara with olives and it was glorious weather and there was so many cute dogs. Look at that little fluff ball. Ah! Oh, when the big, oh, Bernie, is it Bernie's? Yeah. And it also had like such a sick park. It was proper like valley gardens but way better vibes um it reminds me of harewood house if you've ever been there because of course we're big kids we love the zip wire i think there's just loads of footage of us on the zip wire so please enjoy that the sun was setting oh it was just stunning you know those moments where you're just like oh i'm so happy right now like i mean this whole trip was but right this second it was just yeah i'm content i'm happy i love my friends go on zarin so it doesn't even feel like a big flip at the end, but you know when you get to the end and you flip like that, like it literally feels like you're about to fall off the face of the earth. Um, Angus being a really supportive boyfriend, shoving her off. <laughs> and here's me being a big wuss for absolutely no reason. <laughs> and then this flip felt so big, it literally looked so puny, but it felt so big. Um, and there's me doing my Warwick Davis impression when he's on Bear Grylls. And then we saw a fat rat. I hope it drowned. No, I don't. I'm joking. And later that evening, we went around the red light district and it was absolutely round because it was a Saturday. Um, and I don't know, I guess everyone has their own opinion on the red light district. Like, at the end of the day, like, it is their job. So you do feel a bit weird, like, going around and looking at them and you don't know the circumstances that come into that line of work and everything. But... I don't know, yeah, you're, you're in Amsterdam, so you look. And then I got some more fries, obviously. Sunday's weather was glorious. So we were going up the Adam Lookout, um, which is there. So you just get the free ferry across. It's completely free. You just hop on and hop off. And there's loads of bikes, obviously, because there's bikes everywhere in Amsterdam. Um, so me and Rachel went on a little rendezvous um, into the residential area. Hey guys, I'm taking over from Voice Note Emily. Just to say, in the moment, the locals here are insane. A guy just cycled past us, full blast, with his earphones in, so we couldn't hear, but full blast was just pelting Adele. I've never seen, and we're sat on a bench eating our salad, yeah? You'd think we're having sex in public. <laughs> like, the looks we're getting, like, is it just someone who's, is it, if anyone's from Dutch, if anyone's from the Netherlands or is Dutch in general, is it weird to sit and eat your lunch here? Also, they just run around on their cyclists, on their bikes, I can't speak. Like, no handlebars eating ice cream, like, see, see the looks they just gave us. They're in full puffer coats, even though it's so hot. They looked cool. They're basically just handless, riding around, I don't understand. And then they'll just have the kids, like, sit on their lap, or, like, hanging off the back, <laughs> hanging off the back of the motorbike. Very odd. And they all have these cars. Look at these cars. What is that? It seats like one, maybe two people. It's literally a bike with a box around. They go, they go in on cycle. Yeah. Cars, They're not allowed on the road. Cyclists are up here, and it's cars, and then it's, it's pedestrians. Weird. But like. And it is real life across the road. I'm yeah. not even joking. <laughs> you have to look. When you cross the road, you have to look eight times because mm. there'll be cyclists coming at you from every direction, and then there's cars. And you just feel like an idiot. We have embarrassed ourselves for many times. Yeah, very embarrassing. But. And you get dinged at. Yeah, or they just go. <laughs> Someone went ring ring! <laughs> but. Okay, back to voiceover. But yes, it was very residential, but it had such a cute little park here where they did like activities and stuff. So obviously, we just played Spin the Bottle and I kept winning. Who's the ring gonna kiss? No one. Sucks to be her. Um, but. I just can't get over the weather on this day. It was absolutely glorious. And then it was our time to go up the tower and play on the swings. The swings, like them things that hang off the side. Um, there's a train station from the back. It says Amsterdam on, so obviously you know where you are. This whole lookout was a really fun experience. Um, I actually really recommend this. This is one of the things that I definitely would spend money on. It's just really fun, especially if you go on a day where it's really nice weather. Like they have a little map of Amsterdam, like 3D map, a little photo opportunity. This escalator, I mean, look away if you've got epilepsy, but it was quite fun. And then on top, there's just the lookout and it is stunning. You get such good view and there's a little bar and they had a DJ and you get drink tokens if you've pre-booked drinks 
um, and it's like little astroturf and tables and it was just such good vibes and then it was our turn to go on the swings you just, you're only on the swings for like a couple of minutes and um, they'd take some pictures and you just swing off the side of the building it was actually really fun and the view was really nice um, but this is so touristy but I actually really recommend it I really really enjoyed it I mean maybe the wine helped um, but it was really fun It was just good vibes, you know, and you just, it was like beer garden vibes, you know, just sunny and we were high up and it was so much fun. Me and Tom were making a boomerang. Impeccable. Also, if you see the boys wearing their football shirts, we've got two Man City and Liverpool top. It was the uh, Premier League final on this day. Um, so the boys actually left us to go back to an Irish bar to watch it. And us girlies carried on later in the day, but we'll get to that. Oh yeah, there's a big horse. I think there's also like a revolving restaurant here. Um... And there was like a big like Lego like scale model thing. Look at my sick cinematography there. Yeah, this. This was pretty sick as well. And then included in the lookout was these VR rides of Amsterdam. So you like are on a roller coaster through Amsterdam to the beat of bicep like glue and it moves around. It was actually pretty sick. I mean, I was a bit tipsy at this point, but I've it was so much fun. Someone has to get burnt, of course. So we got the free ferry back over and then got the other free ferry off to Plek. I don't know how you say it, but it was like a little DIY, like they made like a beach bar thing. Um, so it was like fake sand and like lounges and cocktails. And this was just, this whole day was just such good vibes. The weather, sun beaming down, drinks were flowing. I always get way drunker when I'm like in the, oh yeah, Rachel celebrating Leeds goal. Uh, we were just keeping up to date with the scores on our phone. Uh, but yeah, I always get way drunk when I'm in the sun, but this was just so much fun. You can probably see us getting more and more drunk. And then we just sat by the water. We were chatting to some men from Newcastle, Small World. Um, and then we had Italian for dinner. This was actually the most garlicky meal I've ever eaten in my life. And that's coming from me. It was just too much garlic. Too much. Um, champions, embarrassing. Last day, how sad. This is us leaving our hotel. We stayed at Menninger Slotterdijk. Um, it was really good actually, really recommend it. It's like hostel vibes, but you get your own private room and it's really close to the centre. It's a like really short train journey. Um, but I, I liked it, I would recommend. So I got pretzel. Also this full English breakfast came with like tomato and cucumber and salad, weird. And then we went to the Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van, I don't know, museum. And Katie was dead confused because her and Tom had been in London. She was like, I swear I just saw the sunflowers. But I'm pretty sure he's made like quite a few copies. Um, I've been to the Van Gogh museum before and I don't think it's my favourite museum I've ever been to. Um, just because the lighting and like the colour scheme and the layout. I just think it's a bit boring and his artwork's really fun and like colourful and I just think it could be so much better to showcase his art like I just don't think it does it justice which is a shame and like Starry Night isn't there which is like my favourite piece of art so like it's good if you want to go see his art but like I wouldn't be rushing um, if you can't get a ticket like I don't think you're missing out that much to be brutally honest and then we went and got some snacks at the airport this dairy section was like in a room it was so odd Rachel's like the fuck um, it was really funny and they had banana alpro oh my god I had this in Bratislava three years ago also doesn't this look like bean anyway I had this in Bratislava three years ago and I could never find it again because they don't sell it in England um, but it's so good then we did some more vintage shopping defo worth a visit to all the vintage shops leave some space in your um, suitcase maybe um, someone was getting interviewed and then we went to like Barbarito but like Amsterdam version um, it was so good my burrito was huge and the staff were really nice um, and then we went to Tony's and tried all the samples. That vegan almond sea salt one, it's called like Zuzolz or something funny, really, really good. I ended up getting a bar of that at the airport, which you will see. But we were just kind of killing time before our flight. Um, we checked our bags back into storage. Um, so we were just like wandering around, doing the last few bits in the city, exploring before we had to go back to the airport. And now that is that time. How sad. Goodbye. And then the queues at check-in were not looking good. And then things went from bad to worse. Our flight was delayed, delayed, delayed. Also, Zorin's never seen one of these water fountains. Like, did you have them in school? Anyway, delayed, delayed, delayed. And then cancelled. Cancelled. 40 minutes before we were meant to take off, they cancelled our flight and just left us for dead. So I had to run to the shop before it shut and get vegan snacks. This was all they had. And 
we had to just try sleep here because if we left and came back, we wouldn't have been able to get back through security. So we were stranded in this airport for a total of 14 hours and EasyJet are claiming we have nothing to claim for and won't give us money. Also, do you remember when planking was a thing? But yeah, nothing in this airport was open. Everything shut at 10 p.m. So I had about three hours sleep of the most uncomfortable sleep on these sofas because they have like wooden slots in between them. And then I had to wait for something to open to quickly get some food before our flight, which ended up being Joe and the Juice, which honestly cost like a mortgage amount. And yeah, it was just a bit of a sour end to the holiday, but what can you do? Airports are mad at the moment. So guys and girls and A's, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, you're probably sick of my voice now. I've just had to sit and record a voiceover for like 20 minutes. So you're welcome. I'm joking, I love the sound of my own voice. Otherwise I wouldn't be making a YouTube, would I? Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions about Amsterdam or want any more recommendations, or if you want any recommendations um hit me up on my instagram hit me up down below and thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one which i'm not gonna say what it is because i did that last time and it isn't that video so just wait and see all right i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one